Hi, my name is Tom at I'd rather be writing.com and today I'm going to show you how you can transfer WordPress from one web host to another. This is assuming that you've already got your blog installed on your web host and you've got content in there and you just for whatever reason you don't like the web host, you're having issues, you want to move it into an entirely different web host. These are the steps that you have to go through or that, that you can go through. And I'm breaking this down into four parts just because it's there's kind of a lot here and it's a lot to cover in just one video. So the first step, the first thing you need to do is obviously identify the new web host. And there's lots of web hosts out there. I recommend that you look for at least three kind of key points. One is you want one with good performance. Um, and now with WordPress, the, the Linux, the Unix servers work best. So if you see a Windows option, I really don't recommend that. Um, there's some file permissions issues. There's like uh, the index.php will appear in your URL and so forth. So, uh, but try to find a web host that doesn't overcrowd their servers. And I'm not really sure, you know, how you verify that. But performance is good. Support is also important. You need somebody that is going to be available when you when you want them like 24 7 either through live chat or through uh, phone or something and finally you need an easy interface you need some kind of uh, interface where you can manage your blog preferably one that has something called cpanel which stands for control panel it's going to have your your database uh, at, tools for working with your database it's going to have um, tools for working with all your files and your content. Um, I like Bluehost, but there's lots of other good hosts out there. So after you identify the new host, you need to install WordPress. So here's how you install it. Assuming that you have cPanel, you would just log in, and this is what cPanel looks like. Scroll down, and most of them have a, an auto installer. Uh, I like Simple Scripts. You just click Simple Scripts. I've got quite a few blogs installed. You click WordPress because that's what you want to install. Click install. And then you'll choose the directory that you want to install it. Usually when you signed up for your account, you had to tell them what domain you wanted and so forth. And so that will be an option here. So if I wanted to install it into janereads.com, I would just put it right there. And then you would just click the little checkbox here and choose complete. And when you do that, it will install the blog. Come on, take a picture. So after, you, after you've installed the blog, though, you run into a problem. Your old domain, uh, or sorry, your old web host has your content, right? And your domain is pointing to that old web host. But now you've installed your content or you've installed WordPress on a new web host and your domain isn't pointing to that web host. So how do you work with it? You can't go to janereads.com or whatever to work with it. You have to go to the temporary IP address that they give you. So when you sign up for an, you sign up for a web hosting plan, if you don't already have a domain that you're able to point to that because of course you're probably just working on it, uh, you have to go to this temporary IP address that they should give you when you sign up. So Although I installed the blog at janereads.com, if I were to type janereads.com, it would still go to my old my old host, right? Because that's where the, the name servers are the domain point. So what I'm going to do is go into phpMyAdmin, which is a, a tool for working with the databases for your blog, and I'm going to repoint the home and and the, the site URL to this temporary IP address. Then I'll be able to go to it. I'll be able to work with that blog, no problem. So I'm going to go back into control panel and I'm going to scroll down here and where it says PHP my admin under databases. This tool allows you to work with all of your databases. So on the left you can see that I have a ton of databases here. Most of these are WordPress installations. And the one that corresponds with the blog that I installed is this one. So you select the database you want to work with there. And now click the WP options table or row, whatever here. Click browse. And now see where it says site URL? You won't be able to work with your blog if that 
URL uh, is always going to be pointing to your old database. So I have the temporary URL uh, right here and I will just copy that and I'll click edit and I'll just change this to my temporary URL so I can work with it and click go and there's one more in addition to the site URL you have to change one other but you don't see it until you go to the the next page uh, down at the bottom here it's kind of out of the video screen but I'm clicking the little arrow for next and you see home here is also pointing to janereads.com so I'm going to change that to my temporary domain as well. And now I'll be able to go to that domain in my in my address bar uh, and I'll be able to log into WordPress at WP admin and so forth. And, and now that now that you've set up that uh, you've set up the blog settings so that you it's pointing to that temporary domain, you can work with it. You can uh, configure it, upload your theme, do all kinds of things. And when you're ready to go live later, we'll do this later, you can just log back into PHPMyAdmin and change those values back to the regular domain once you've transferred that.